Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and I bring you all my deck profile for Punk Furia Gold Pride. This is the list that I was playing at the Kissimmee Regional literally yesterday, and uh, I think it did pretty well overall. I definitely think there is some tweaks I want to do, and I want to go over my ratios, what I think I should change in the future, and how to improve from here. So, for any person that has been watching these videos, you must know, I am in love with this archetype. Punk has grew on me like the fungus in The Last of Us. I really, really love this archetype. Everything about it speaks to me, and I love how you can just put any engine you want into the deck, and it just plays well. The only gripes I have with this archetype is that one time really, really sucks for this deck. Uh, losing the time is really, really hard. But besides that, this deck is phenomenally cool. It does some really, really interesting combos that no other deck is doing. And I have to love it for that. So let's just go straight into this. I'll talk about our ratios and we'll go straight from there. All right, so first things first, let's do the card by card. We play one King Regulus, the Ferion. We play three Punk Ogre Dance, one Ferion Lily. We play three Foxy Tune, two Gold Pride Nitro Head, three the Ascendant of Thunder, one Ferion Fuma, one Deer Note, of course, the Punk one. Then, of course, we also are playing one Psychic Tracker, three Gold Pride Leon, one Punk Saracusai, three uh, Gold Pride Carry, one Gold, uh, what's it called? One Punk Wagon, one Punk Madam Spider, three Punk Ziamen, and of course, our one Psychic Wheeler. Now, for the spells, we're playing, of course, the one Engine Argos, the one Ghost Trick Shot, the three Emergency Teleports, the one. Punk Field Spell, the one Ferion Field Spell, two Start Your Engines, one Ferion Clash, or I think Crash is his name, the Trap Card, and of course the one Punk Trap Card. And now for the extra deck, we are also playing one Fish, one Second Game Punisher, one Amazing Dragon, one Baron De Fleur, one Punk Jam, uh, Punk Vajan to be exact, one Mantis, one Naturia Barkion, one Gold Pride Synchro, one Zeus, one Springens or uh, Sargas, however you want to call them, uh, two Ghost Tricks, uh, one Ghost Trick Alucard, two Mischief, I meant to say, and of course, Utopic Draco Future and Utopic Draco. That is it for the main deck. Let's actually talk about the ratios. So first things first, if you ever see this video, uh, Emergency Teleport is a one-card starter. One Emergency Teleport is the entire Furion line done with no cards attached, which is pretty much amazing. Now, Ogre Dance, Foxy Tune, and Ziamen are one and a half card starters. They can do the full combo, but they require a discard due to the fact that Foxy Tune requires a discard in order to special summon. But besides that, they're also one card starters. As for our three O's, besides our one card starters, I really appreciate Leon and Carrie as really good extenders. All the Gold Pride monsters are extenders from hand as long as their life points are lower. And they get to special some of themselves onto the field. They're both level 3, allow you to have access to some really, really powerful effects. Uh, Leon allows the quick synchro on your opponent's turn into any monster as long as you could use Gold Pride monsters. And of course, Carry has the ability, when on normal or special, to add yourselves a trap card. A Gold Pride trap card to be exact from your deck to your hand. I think the gold pride traps are at two are perfect. I think the trap ratio is absolutely magnificently good. We need another spell card to search if just in case we open the field spell. So that's why we're playing the crash, which is also a really, really powerful card. And of course, the one uh, punk spider trap card is also really, really stellar as well. I think everything is perfectly ratio. I think the punks that are 1-0s, which are Deer Note, Sherakusai, Wagon, and Madam Spider are perfect as 1-0s. You don't want to see them in hand because they are more than one and a half card starters. They're two card starters. And two card starters are not good. I'll be honest with you. Uh, 
They need more cards, thus a good. You don't want to see these guys in hand, so keeping them at one is fantastic. The only time you want to see Wagon in hand is if you have an emergency teleport to keep extending for there, or an Ogre Dance in hand, because Ogre Dance plus Wagon is still full combo, plus a little bit more, but it's not the greatest, especially if that Wagon is stopped. So I highly recommend playing these guys in one ofs. Now, the reason why we're playing only two of our Nitro Head is because Nitro Head is a really, really powerful card. And it's a level 8 extender. But to me, the Quick Synchro plus Reborn from Leon and Carry adding the Trap card isn't as powerful. So I like it as a good two of. Not to mention, we use level 3s more than we use level 8s. Not to mention, Ogre Dance and Foxy Tune and in case Regulus and, of course, Furion, Lily are all 8s, meaning we have plenty of access to 8s. As you can see, the whole top row are eight level 8 monsters, which is pretty insane. We're playing 10 level 8s in this deck. And if anything, we could probably play Trade in it and be probably consistent, but we're not doing that. We're also playing 3, Ascended of Thunder. Now, you're probably wondering, why the fuck are we playing Ascended of Thunder? This card, if you've never read it, was a card played in Cash Tira when it first came out. Basically, you pay 3 fouls and special summon this card from your hand. And then if this card leaves the field by your opponent, basically you gain 5,000 life points. That's the whole gimmick of this card. We're not using it for the whole 5,000 gimmick. The really important part about this card is that when you pay life points, you special summon this card, meaning all the gold pride cards are active, and it's a level 7, meaning you can access Baron the Fleur without having to commit to your main line. Both the Ghost Trick Engine and Baron, plus this whole uh, Ascended Funner package, is played in this deck just so you can make an Omni Negate or a Monster Negate before you have to dedicate to your main line. Uh, which is really, really insane. Because any two level threes equals Draco. Uh, F Draco Future. Which is a monster that gains steel. Which is pretty amazing. That's why we're playing all these three ofs. Uh, level threes. And if you haven't noticed. From Psychic Tracer all the way down to Psychic Wheeler. Are threes. So there's one, two, three, four, five. There is 14 level threes in this deck. We're almost playing as much as BA does. To be honest. We're playing a lot of level threes. Which is really, really cool. And there's some really, really powerful lines in here. Uh, reason why for the extra deck? I'll explain that now. Second like Punisher is just a boss monster that helps kill for game. Uh, our biggest weak point is the fish card, but it's also the most powerful card. So the fish card is the fusion monster. Basically, it attributes itself, especially something two from deck. Uh, if Valiant's card is stopped, you kind of just lose automatically. The biggest issue with this deck for the longest time was that the fish was the biggest choke point of this deck. Now, your opponent can misplay and stop the uh, Foxy Tune or they can stop the Ziamid. But the biggest, we can still probably do the combo, even without those two. We just need the tr the fish to resolve. Now, how do, you, how do you make the fish resolve? By making a Baron early or making an, uh, a monster negate early. That's how you make sure the fish resolves, which is really, really important. We're also playing, of course, Amazing Dragon to help uh, push her game. Also, it's really good against trap decks. Uh, I made a line against Labyrinth where I made Barkion, plus a quick synchro into Amazing Dragon to bounce all four back row they had back to their hand during the end phase, which won me that round. Now, it did not win me the entire turn because he ended up burning me at the end, which was unforeseen to be perfectly honest but hey what can you do uh we're also playing of course the mantis and the sargus package to access the fairy online uh basically any two level eights eagle sargas sargas searches and mantis dumps lily so Sar uh, sargas can search the fairy on king regulus and the mantis can dump the lily making the entire fairy on engine live which is pretty pretty insane now the reason why we're playing these three only Ferions is because these are the strongest. King Regulus is an Omni Negate who does not destroy. Lily searches any spell or trap for the Ferions. And of course, Fuma is a bounce. Plus, it's a level 7. So, if you don't think the bounce is good enough, we can also play, uh, make a uh, Baron with it as well, which is really, really positive. Now, the Wheeler and Tracker are both searchable level 3s that have great utility to access. Barkion. All the Earth Punks are tutors that are Earth. Meaning, any Earth Tutor plus Tracer 
equals Barkyon. That's a 3,100 attack, which is pretty, pretty amazing. and allow us to push off from there. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the combos now. So get ready. I'm going to show you three duels I had online with this deck and just show you the potential this archetype has. So let's get started. All right, so this first duel is going to be with Trap Tricks. I opened a pretty solid hand. Uh, this is straight Baron Access before I have to worry about anything. Now, my opponent does misread my card and imperm immediately. Now, even if he does not imperm me there, our Baron that we just made without using our normal summon means we have full combo to protect ourselves from at least one hand trap. So even if uh, he did not imperm there, the Baron would protect us from the Imperm, which is pretty, pretty solid. Now, we're doing the normal combo. Zeom and Search Foxy Tune, Foxy Tune Pitch, Summon Out, Share Kusai, Share uh, Kusai, Pay 600, get ourselves the uh, Fusion, Fusion Tribute itself, Special Summon Out, Deer Note, and Wagon. Now, if we didn't open the uh, Argus Station, we would actually get Battle Spider to get a Trap Card, but because we opened that, we can get Wagon, Wagon Search the Field Spell, maybe we can combo a different way. Uh, now we're going to make ourselves punk the Dram Drive, which is going to pay 600 to add a Psychic to hand, which will be the Madame Spider. And we're also going to reborn back the fish using the Deer Note that was hit grave. Now we're going to make ourselves, oh, we're going to draw one first. Perfect draw. Now we're going to make ourselves a Sargas. Sargas is going to add ourselves a Regulus, just in case they imperm before. Now we have another access to an Omni Gate, which is pretty, pretty stellar. And now we pop off from here. Reckless uh, sends in order to add to ourselves the field spell, which is amazing. We got a special summon out to carry to get ourselves a trap card, which fends out the deck even more, which is fantastic. And we're going to use the field spell we have to ultimately special summon out the Madame Spider by banishing our Ogre Dance from Grave. You always want to banish the lights and darks in order to keep the bestials at bay. We're going to pay 600, add the trap card to hand. This will trigger our field spell to draw again. We do draw into a Ascended Thunder, which is no longer needed, but that's fine. Now we're accessing the Ghost Trick play, where we go into two level threes, goes into Alucard, which goes into Mischief. Mischief detaches the Alucard, they add a shot. Shot reborns the Alucard, but before we do, we're going to actually use the effect of Sargus. When XYZ uses his effect, we can either bounce or destroy a card on field. We can bounce our field spell for next turn. We can also now use the shot to reboard the Alucard, make another mischief, and now go for the VFD line. We'll add back the shot off the Alucard effect when it's sent to the grave, and now make a, of course, Utopic Draco. We will set two, activate the Fairy on Field spell that gives us protection from battle for once, and then we'll also add to our hand a Fuma. Fuma will spell summon itself by targeting the Lily, and that is it. This board is stupid. Not only do we have two Omni Gates, we also have a Monster Negate Steel, a bounce from both the uh, Fuma, which uh, is great, is actually going to win us this duel, and also the Sargus, which is a bounce to destroy. We also have two back rows that are alive, and of course, we have Ascended Thunder, the Field Spell, and a shot for next turn. So, worst comes to worst, we still have access to that. We bounce their card. He tries to activate the trap card. He realizes he loses. We go on to game two. Now, game two, my opponent actually goes first. It's Brandon. He did not open Brandon Fusion, so his hand was a little lackluster. Uh, he did open Cartesia, so he's going to try to make a Dragoon and have access to uh, Brandon Fusion for the following turn. Luckily, one Dragoon does not stop our combo, especially when we open our, of course, Ascended of Thunder and a... Quick play, Leon. Leon wants a light point to lower with special summon itself, making it a quick and easy Baron that can contest the Dragoon. Now, luckily, it's just Dragoon Pass, because honestly, our hand is not looking the greatest, but we can do what we do and still do great things, because we still have the starter. Now, we do open, as you can see, the brick. We drew it to the shot, which sucks, but that's fine. We can still discard it to make a... Our whole combo work anyway. So we're going to discard the shot. Special summon out Wagon. Uh, wagon is going to add ourselves the field spell. Uh, when we place the field spell, I believe he attempts to go for the negate. Which we do have to stop. So we're going to use our Baron, of course, to negate him. Now he cannot be destroyed by card effects. So he survives. Our field spell goes off without a hitch. We're going to activate the uh, Ogre Dance to add ourselves Ziamin. Because we have not used Ziamin this turn. We are going to special summon the Ziyama using the field spell. And of course, we're going to pay 600 in order to add to ourselves 
the I believe it's uh Sharakusa to hit, absolutely. Okay. We're gonna now normal summon the Sharakusa. And with this, we're gonna pay six hundred to fusion summon, which is uh amazing. We are gonna get ourselves into the fusion. The field spells we're gonna trigger for the first time, we're gonna draw ourselves a foxy tune. We're gonna tribute the fusion special summon out a Madame okay. Spider and a Deer Note to hand. Now we're gonna pay another six hundred to add to our hand the trap card, which is, of course, yeah. amazing. So we have two interruptions right there, but we're not going to need them because we're going to kill our opponent this turn. The field spell will trigger, we'll draw again, we get a carry, which is amazing uh, because it'll give us the third trap card. We're going to activate the Mantis. Mantis will dump the Lily because we didn't have access to it before. And, of course, we'll reborn the fish with our, of course, the Deer Note. Now, the great thing about the fish is that the fish is Aqua, so the Bestials can't even hit it, which is great. Now, with these two, we are going to go into Sargus, of course. Sargus will add to ourselves a King Regulus. Now, remember, Lily is a plant, meaning it is actually a grass type, and our opponent cannot bestial that either, which means we can target it with our, of course, big boy, King Ferion Sargus. And right now, we already can push for game, but we're going to go for a different route. We have 20 ways to kill him. We can make a, we're at 2,000 life points. We can probably just make a big ass second get Punisher and push for game. But that would require us to use the Regulus as our 8. So instead of that, I'm going to go into our Quick Play a Synchro. Our Quick Play Synchro is going to gain 4,500 attack. It's also going to pop their Cartesia. And like that, we have game on field. This is so much damage. It's just ridiculous. Uh, we're going to special summon out Foom just for even more damage to 2,100 beat stick. Set 3 back row. If he even survives with a Mist Steel, not only do we have 2 Omni Negates, well, 1 Omni Negate because Baron's already used his effect. We just push for game and that's it. Let's go to game 3. This is game 3. Now, this game is going to show off the whole combo from here. Uh, this hand is pretty stellar with emergency teleport. Uh, we activate Ogre Dance to search ourselves, oh, of course, Wag on. Wag on normal summon, add ourselves a field spell. Uh, we wouldn't usually do this, but we have emergency teleport and uh, Foxy to it itself, which is amazing. We're going to special summon out Leon. And then we're going to go straight into, of course, the Ghost Trick package to get ourselves a early monster negate, which is important. Uh, we're going to activate the Ghost Trick shot, reborn the Alucard. And then go into Mischief, and then, of course, go into Utopic, and then Utopic Draco. Of course, this is going to trigger our Alucard to add back to Shot, so we can discard it off the Foxy Tune. And, of course, we make ourselves the big boy himself. We're going to activate the Foxy Tune, pitch the Shot, get ourselves a Battle Spider, because we already have a Negate. Uh, we're going to special summon out Sharakusai. We are going to pay 600 for the Trap Card, which is fantastic, by the way. We're not going to activate the Field Swell, because we still have not actually activated Ziamid yet. We're going to pay another 600 Fusion Summon into the Rising Carp. This will now trigger our Field Spell to draw. We draw into another Leon. We tribute it, special summon out the Deer Note and the Ziamid. We activate Ziamid now to add ourselves, of course, another Ogre Dance for next turn, which is great. This will trigger our Field Spell, which we'll draw again. We drew the Field Spell, which is fantastic. Now we'll use oh, what's called uh, Mantis to dump, of course, the Lily. And we'll reborn the Carp using, of course... The Deer Note. Now we'll go into Sargus. Sargus had Regulus. And the rest is history. We activate uh, King Regulus. Get ourselves back this Lily. We send the Lily to get ourselves the Trap Card. Because we opened the Field Spell by drawing it. Which is fantastic. So now we have an additional interruption. We're going to special summon out... Uh, our nitro head which will give our opponent a token not to mention we'll make sure we're survive from lightning storm and of course we'll have to be the field spell get ourselves fuba fuba will target the lily and then we'll set two back row and end our turn now this is an insane board really really terrifying board and of course during the standby phase we give our opponent a token all right so our opponent is playing it looks like a MT special of Ronick with the uh, Plunder Patrol. He's going to Kaiju our monster. He's going to activate, of course, the uh, ritual, or well, not ritual spell, the uh, Runic well, spell to try to fuse, uh, get ourselves their field spell. We'll just negate with the cross. And then now they'll try to destroy our other back row, which is perfectly fine by us. They only have two cards left in hand, and we still have multiple interruptions, even with the Kaiju. They're going to normal summon out Red Beard. We're going to try to bounce it. They're going to activate Freezing Chain to try to negate. That is fine. And then we're just going to blow up the uh, Fusion just before they can make a Blackbeard with it. 
they will banish four cards at the top of our deck, banishing seven in total. And then, of course, the uh, Fusion will trigger a Grave to add it back to the extra deck. And that is it for their turn. Uh, for my turn, I'm trying to make a Baron. I have a level 3 Leon. I go to Special Summon. I'm actually going to try to use their Kaiju. But as they try to do that, uh, they try to activate Redbeard. I negate the Redbeard, which destroys it. And then they just literally quit there. So I hope you all enjoy. And uh, I hope you keep enjoying the videos. That's all I have for today. See you on the next one. And don't do anything stupid. Bye-bye. <laughs>